My name is George Eberts, and I teach astronomy at Ohio University. We teach the totality of what human beings see with their eyeballs when they look up into the sky at nighttime or daytime. We teach constellations, planetary movements, we teach solstice and equinoxes, and we teach how you see these things from your own backyard and how humans have seen them around the campfire and, and in their own backyards all through history. Observational astronomy doesn't require any prior courses and uh, no, you don't have to be a, uh, an astronomy major for that at all. What kinds of people take my class, I think there's at least three categories. One of them, and it's about half of the students in, the, in any given class, is people in education that are going to be uh, middle school or high school science teachers. And you don't want a bright fifth grader to upstage you with their knowledge of astronomy. It's, it's an important course to uh, help you get a little bit better perspective of your place in the world and in the cosmos, but we mostly have uh, non-science majors who take this course. Another kind of uh, person that's a likely prospect is an outdoor recreation major because that's something you can do at night after it gets dark other than just have a campfire with skits. Um, you can lead night hikes, you can do interpretive night work with a knowledge of constellations. Uh, I think the third category would be journalism majors because when you get assigned to write the big story on the upcoming eclipse, we in the astronomy community would like you to get it right. So we teach you this stuff on the college level. I, I really like the focus on the things that when a student's outside, they can just look up and, and start to connect. For me, one of the great highlights of teaching this is when you take students out into the country. I like to get out there with a bus full of students and let the students get off off the bus and out of the vehicles, all the lights go out, and for a moment, I'd like to not say anything to, to organize people. Just let them mill around in the dark for a moment or two. And that's when you hear people say, oh my God, look at that, look at all those stars. I've never seen that many, oh man, I never knew that was up there. It's commonly thought that the North Star is the brightest star in the night sky. The North Star has a reputation of being the brightest star because of poetry and songs where it is spoken of sometimes in a way that makes you think it's supposed to be real bright. But it's not. It's just a mediocre star. It's the same brightness as stars in the Big Dipper or the belt of Orion. The reason it's so special though is because in a course of a 24-hour day, say a 12-hour night, everything rotates around because the Earth is turning. And just like the sun rises in the east and sets in the west, all of the stars do too. But the North Star doesn't. The North Star sits there and all of the other stars go around it. We stick mostly with the classic constellations. There are 88 of them that are currently accepted. When you look up in the winter, you see one of the most bright and sparkly and dynamic constellation sets anywhere in the sky ever. You see the constellation Orion. And um, if you learn Orion, you can learn to make uh, little dotted lines in your mind connecting stars and leading you out to other constellations. There's the big dog, the little dog, the twins, the bull, and these constellations are, uh, are full of bright stars, very sparkly white, bluish white sparkly stars. And an interesting thing about this, the reason those stars are there is because you're looking away from the center of the galaxy. Those are stars that are in the same spiral arm with our sun. And, and when you look at the winter sky, you're looking right at the stars virtually next door in space. I think the, the most important thing is to, to try and show them the interconnectedness between things as remote as the stars and their daily lives. I'm just really lucky to get paid to share the things I love with other people.